Hi, this is Dr. Justin here, and today's talk is going to be, is gluten-free really gluten-free? I did a presentation on this exact topic just last week. So first, let's review. What is gluten? Well, gluten primarily is proteins that are considered to be in wheat, barley, and rye, but wheat specifically. And this kind of is the old school approach to what gluten really is. The new school approach is that glutens, various forms of glutens, are in all grains. So for instance, gliadin would be a, the primary gluten in wheat, such as horsenin would be the primary gluten in rice, zine the primary gluten in corn, avenin the primary gluten in oats, and so on. So you get an idea that these proteins are referred to as glutens. But today, when, in today's society, when we say gluten-free, the proteins that we're primarily referring to are the proteins found in wheat, barley, and rye. Now, that's interesting because when the research for what gluten was 40, 50, 60 years ago was, was conducted and completed, those were the primary proteins that were inflaming um, the guts of celiac patients. But with newer research today, we're finding that proteins from all subfractions of grains are actually very inflammatory. So the dietary recommendations that I, I maintain and, and, and enforce with all my patients is going gluten-free, true gluten-free, means cutting the proteins, cutting grains out completely, avoiding all of those gluten proteins found in grains. That is the only way. Now, why do we want to do this? I mean, we're so conditioned that grains are good. Well, first, if when we compare nutrition of grains to other foods such as vegetables and, and high-quality uh, fruits and vegetables and meats and such, we find that grains are very nutrient-poor. So that's an X right there. The second criteria we look at is grains are also very inflammatory. So inflammation is the second criteria. So other healthy fats and proteins and, and uh, vegetables, they're very anti-inflammatory and contain lots of phytonutrients. So again, grains are inflammatory. So another X. And the third criteria we look at is are they toxic? And we know that grains contain other lectins, and especially wheat contains wheat germ agglutinin. These are very toxic. If you were to take the amount of wheat germ agglutinin and inject it into your blood, it would cause a heart attack in a matter of a few minutes to hours. Because that glutenin is very, very, very inflammatory, and it causes um, clotting to form in the arteries. Now, we don't normally inject those into our body, so it's not quite the same thing. But you get the idea that this isn't a compound that you want to be putting in your body. You're much better off putting something less inflammatory and less toxic. So again, the take-home message is you're not going gluten-free until you're cutting all grains out of your diet. Hope everyone found this information uh, really beneficial. And for anything else, feel free and check out the blog. And visit the site at justinhealth.com and or email or call the office. Thanks. Have a great day.